Guys, day number three in Afghanistan. I am fully dressed like a local Afghani. Um, I did bring some clothes, obviously, from Pakistan to blend in a little bit, but I was still getting a lot of stares over here. So, our host, that guy, he got me this uh, dress and he's like, Put this on, you're gonna blend in a lot better. So, let's see what happens today. And we're just pulling out the car. And we're gonna go explore another city today in Afghanistan. So currently we're entering Kogman province and this is the first view of how the city actually looks like. This is Pagman, right? This is the Pagman district. So we are at a dam. Um, near Kabul area and this is a ticket they give it's 50 Afghani rupees and we're headed there right now to see apparently there's a lot of water over here um, and people come here just to kind of you know explore and have a good time so we're gonna check it out how it is oh the only place in Kabul oh there it is the people coming for it So this is what the dam looks like right now. And on the other side right there, that's Kabul, right? Yeah. That's Kabul city right there. What is that? It's called Karga. Karga Dam. It belongs to Pagman province. <laughs> Alright, so we're near Pagman province at a place called Karga Dam. From what I've been told is last year, um, the water was a lot higher and now it's just pretty much drying out. There's a car park literally right there. People are swimming in the water a little bit. Another guy swimming right there. Goats, there's a guy with a bicycle right there. Pretty cool. What's on this side? Oh, it was made by Russian. The Russians, okay. Oh, so Russians built this when they were here. Ah, oh, nice. This is the local dam. Look, they have a little houses right down there. It's pretty cool. Nice place. Love the mountains. The mountain range. So, day three in Afghanistan, the issue I'm having right now is once we left uh, Kabul, the house that I'm staying in, the people that are hosting me, while we're driving to uh, Pagman province, uh, Taliban actually found out that I'm in Afghanistan and they came to the house uh, to find out if I'm a spy over here or uh, like what I'm doing here and stuff like that. So we're trying to contact uh, some leaders of Taliban or the people that are in more higher position uh, so we can get a permission from them so we don't get hassle around that we're going around and stuff like that. So we're so that's what pretty much we have to kind of do right now to figure out what's happening. So everyone's like on the phone right now <laughs> trying to figure this stuff out. All right, so we just parked our car over here and this is a little seating area and they have kind of like a small river running water over here. People have uh, different different family spots like little tents set up. There's another one on this side families can sit here. You have your own privacy. So we're probably gonna get some drinks. Females can come over here too, right? Okay. Go 
बोलता है ये मेरा जॉब है वजीफा है अच्छा अच्छा चिकन ठीक है मुर्गी ठीक है मुर्गी ठीक है हां मुर्गी ठीक है सुबह है they're gonna go slaughter the murgi over there, the chicken. Yo, Papa, That's gonna be number two. That's number one. Oh yeah, still moving. Abhi bhi hilna thoda ni. So I understand some of you guys that are gonna watch this video are gonna think that this is very inhumane, but this is, I don't condone it. I just see and then I show it to you guys. Look, so the butcher, he just showed me, he saw that I had tattoos as well. And he said that he's got a tattoo as well. So he showed it to me. I'm not, tattoo This is tattoo. He's got a clenching cough, right? And it says dunya matlab means uh, it's a selfish world. You know, I don't I okay. believe this, yeah. Like, okay. dumb, yeah. like a dumb. That if he do this, that will yeah, keep okay, okay. us from evil eyes. Ah. That he believe like this. अच्छा अच्छा What's in it? Koila? Yeah What's in it? Koila? Sardi What's in it? What's in it? It's a chimindo Burbu Burbu? Yeah Can you show it in your hand? It's my job It's a chimindo This is Burbu Burbu? Yeah It's a chimindo 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 it's like herbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Herbs. Okay. So it's kind of like a way of uh, making money for him right now. He's coming around, kind of like blessing the person so you don't get any evil eye, his stuff like that. अच्छा ठीक है बढ़िया ठीक है ठीक है जो ने जो जो 
So after an amazing game of Ludo, uh, I was number one. You were number two. He was number three. I was a loser. But in the meantime, we did get uh, our chicken that the guy was cooking. Look at this. Fresh chicken. We got the naan. Look at that. So now, I'm gonna give this uh, chicken karai a little taste test. Let's see how it is. Check this out. Mm. Oh my god. So delicious. It's curry from chicken. Yeah. And the good part is, the cool part is, that in their culture, it's not like because all of us are sitting together like as friends, so we don't take out food in like different, different separate plates. We all just eat from one big plate. Which also in Islam is supposed to be a sunnah, which is like the Prophet used to eat like that as well and share it with everybody. So it's, it's a good thing that everybody does already do. It will be more delicious. <laughs> when we want to eat together, and it will be more delicious. There you go. You heard it from him. So we got some local kids over here uh, that are selling some gum, sunflower seeds, and they were hungry. So we just told them to sit with us and eat some food. Very good. Uh, basket of Okay. So this kid is selling sunflower, sunflower seeds, some gum, and he's a shoe polish. polish. Shoe polish oh, no. So he's a shoe polisher, and he sells uh, candy and stuff like that. And this is his stuff, like shoe polish work, like this. He's got shoe polish, paint, and stuff in there. Uh, Umar said they? Chan Chan Solasti. Ishpag? Chan Solasti. Twelve. Twelve? Twelve. Nah, Last ten. Ten. Ten, ten twelve. Ten, eleven. He looks like he's at least seven. How is he ten? Don't know. And he's twelve? Odega. Odrega. 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 You know the issue also in uh, in Afghanistan is a lot of people over here don't know their real age. So, for example, the host over here, how old are you? See how he said he said I'm maybe 30. Are you sure you're 30, or you maybe higher or lower? You're not sure. When I take my identity card, national identity card, then I put maybe I'm 12 or 13. You put like this. So the thing over here is um, like in Western countries, we celebrate birthdays and stuff like that. Um, in Afghanistan, it's, they don't do that. They don't celebrate a birthday. They don't have a cake every single year when the child is born. So a lot of people, they just forget how old they are. They kind of have a guesstimate of how old they are. And if someone is like over the age of, I don't know, 15, 20, they just kind of forget. Um, it's all about guessing like I was probably born this year or that time so no one really keeps a track of how old they are <clears throat> all right guys so the reality of the situation yeah. of what happened um 
we are at another location um, because of obviously what I was telling you guys what happened earlier uh, with the guys coming over to the house. So there's another gentleman. Just for his safety, I'm not gonna show his face um, because this, I am using it as a safe house for the night. So uh, he set up like this huge dinner uh, for us to eat. So I'm gonna show you guys that. Look at all this. <laughs> Is that a kabli palau? So, uh, kabli rice. Kab like kabli also, with like some uh, the grief and okay. something. Okay. Uh, that's it. The what the digi or do is rosh. Rosh, rosh. Okay, rosh, rosh kebab. Kind of kebab. Okay, and we have obviously naan, some fruits, apples, and uh, yogurt. <clears throat> so that's what we're gonna be having tonight for dinner. It's gonna be a good time. Okay. Hey guys, so real talk. Two members uh, of the Taliban, or they were saying they were Taliban, uh, came to the house looking for me, uh, saying that I was a spy, or I might be a spy. Uh, why is a foreigner in this country? Uh, what is he doing here? Why is he recording? Stuff like that. Um, and then, so obviously we got the phone call and they were telling us that, you know, these guys came over here, so it's not safe for you to come back to this house. But the sad reality on ground right now is as much as I would love to tell you guys that it is safe and you should come to Afghanistan to explore the culture, um, I would be lying to you. So because of my past background in the military um, and I've been to this country many times um, I'm aware of my surroundings my situation what to do in instances if something was to happen I'm trained well enough to get out of the bad situation <clears throat> no one knows um, that I was that I, I was a former um, US Army soldier uh, fighting in a war against these people uh, the host, uh, the guy that's hosting me, he obviously knows, his family knows, uh, because I've worked with them in the past, uh, in my military days. Not the guy personally, but um, a lot of these guys that I'm hanging out with, they're former Special Forces, Afghan Special Forces guys. So the surrounding that I'm in is very secure, but if you don't have a solid a person like this on your backing then it can become very hard for you to travel around this country especially at this time because every uh, 10 to 15 minutes there's a Taliban checkpoint which I cannot record of for obvious reasons because uh, they're just gonna create a bigger scene a bigger um, you know just give is they're just gonna give you more trouble and not let you go about your way most all of the palaces, houses, um, any big location that, you know, tourists would like to go to and see, they have been completely shut down. And actual Taliban elders and leaders are living in those places now. Today, um, right now, I'm gonna be going to the Taliban headquarters. Um, I got in contact with the guy who is in charge of or who is this spokesperson for Taliban? He's all over the news and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go speak with him and I'm gonna find out what is the issue. I came here legally with a visa, with a passport. Should I leave the country? Am I not safe here? Do they not want me here? If they do want me here, then why are people coming to the house and asking about me and stuff like that? Is there anything that he could do to help me out? If not, then I don't know if this trip is gonna keep on going on. I was hoping that I would be going to um, Bamiyan. I was hoping to go to uh, Paktia province. I was hoping to go to uh, coast, to go to Jalalabad. But I don't know what's gonna happen. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go speak with the guy uh, shortly and hopefully everything works out and once I come back from that location I will let you guys know what happened obviously I cannot take the cameras inside with me as much as I would love to I don't want to risk the chance of even hiding the camera and doing it like secretively 
I will take my cell phone with me and I'll do my best to do what I can, but I don't want to risk taking my GoPro and stuff like that. So I'm going to be leaving my bags, everything in the safe house. Uh, the location where I'm staying right now, um, no one knows about this location. It's a very safe location, safe place. It's, um, it's completely like secluded. So that's, that's the good part. And the people that live around in all of these areas uh, know each other. And they were all in the former uh, Afghan National Special Forces and stuff like that. So they all look out for one another. So that's why I came to this location because I knew a lot of guys in this area. So we'll see what happens. Uh, wish me luck. And uh, yeah, either you're gonna see this on my YouTube channel or you're gonna see me on the news. <laughs>